hey y'all and welcome back to my channel we are already getting started and i am taking everything off of my bookshelf before we start painting if you like this video please give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share this video Well, it says exterior paint. We're going to use it for the indoors. Um, It's ready to use. Pre-mixed color. I just got this much because I didn't want a whole gallon of paint. Which I probably could have still got a whole gallon. And not use it all, but we trying to save coin. So, we're not doing all that. So, I got this white paint. And then I was having trouble finding like small like small paints like like this just to paint the backboard ombre of pinks so i might end up mixing a color with white to make it really light at the bottom but from lowe's i had to go to lowe's because all the paint was out at all the walmarts all the targets during this quarantine like it just wasn't happening so i just got little sample paints um, they're still like four dollars a piece pretty much with tax I'm going to be doing this it's very berry kind of looks like that if you can see that and then next will be this rose dust and then this berry twist so it'll be like this, and then at the bottom, I'll probably do like a real, real light pink. So I got this little brush, and I'm just going to paint this ruler just so y'all can see what the other, all the colors going to look like. Okay. So if you can see this, this is what all three pinks is going to look like ombre onto the backboard. Okay, so before we start painting, I'm just wiping down my bookshelf just in case there's any dust or hair on it. I just want all that out the way so we won't be painting on top of that. So I have my paint poured into my paint tray. Now I'm starting to paint the bookshelf except for the back because that is where the pink is going. So now I'm taking a ruler and a pencil and I'm going to mark where I want the ombre to start, which I think I've already measured it. It's going to be about 13 inches on each. So got my ruler here. So this is, and then I'll add an inch from where the pencil is. So this will be where my ombre will start to take place. So from here. Then I'm going to add an inch 
and then from here down will be the lighter color so i just mark with the different color pinks where the ombre will stop and start and i am starting to paint the back the first pink which is the darkest pink and then i do two coats on each color and then you'll see how i will try to blend in each color so that it gradually gets lighter you will also see me throughout painting this background that I switched from brushes to other painting utensils and a roller just because certain things weren't getting the job done. But I was really liking how the sponge was spreading the paint onto the back because it's not like a wood back, it's like a hard cardboard. So it was really tough using the brush and the roller but the sponge was doing the job the best. Now I am beginning to make sure that there's no harsh lines between the ombre. So I'm just going back through each of the pinks and doing a light layer and kind of mixing it together just so you won't see. You can see where the ombre starts, but not like defined lines. So here is my bookshelf after it has dried. Y'all see, y'all see what I just did? It's so cute. Now let's put it together. So now we're at the fun part. I am starting to put my beauty things back on my beauty shelf. You can see I have my sunglasses. They're in old candle jars. I just cleaned out the jars of the wax and those are actual candle holders at the back and I ended up um, hot gluing those together and so it kind of gives me like some levels to my sunglasses and then I'm just starting to put everything else on here. I wasn't really sure how I wanted to set it up this time, so you'll see me going back and forth trying to decide where I want to put my things. And you guys, if you would like to see a separate video of more in detail of what I have on my beauty shelf, just leave a comment down below. I have a lot of different things on my beauty shelf come from different places, stores, thrift stores, some things I made. So if you would like to see that, just leave a comment down below. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to add some lights to my beauty shelf. So I am putting on my LED string lights. I just had them. I never used them, and I didn't know what to do with them. And I was like, oh, well, let me add them to my beauty shelf. So you see me attaching that. And you guys, when I have all the lights off, it looks so pretty with the hot pink on the background. Your girl did that. <laughs> And I also will attach my LED push lights that I got from Dollar Tree and that gives just extra bomb lighting. Mm -hmm. 
and here she is you guys this is like one of my top favorite diys that i've done besides my vanity that i also did um i'm pretty sure that i would end up changing a few things out depending on how i want my beauty shelf to look and you all are welcome to have anything that you want on your beauty shelves this is just what i decided to have on mine and i'm just so happy how it turned out if you like this video please please give it a thumbs up share this video on your social media platforms and also subscribe to my channel for more and i'll see you in the next video Thank you.